Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin. Uh, for today's video, I am actually just going to do a little update on my book, Work in Progress, and just talk about it. I don't really have a script or anything planned. I never have a script planned. I'm just going to talk and kind of just update you. It's probably not going to be a too long of a video, or it might be. I might ramble, but we'll see. So, update. It is March 4th, and I had a deadline of March 1st, for my manuscript so that means that my book is officially with my editor right now and so that means I'm officially on break. February was um, a very up and down month um, to say the least both writing wise and in my personal life well actually no it was all just up in my personal life writing was this personal life I got this, so it was really great. Um, but writing was a toughie because I had to get this done. Um, but I am so, so proud to kind of, I guess, announce or say I turned in a manuscript that I was very, very, very happy with. There's still work to do. I'm like, that's why I'm handing it over to an editor to tell me what more I need to do. But where it's at right now, I like couldn't be happier. I love the story that I have created out of this whole rewrite process. And I'm just super, super excited to share this story with you now. I've never been so happy <laughs> to be told that I needed to rewrite my book. Not even rewrite it, split it into two and then rewrite it. Um, <laughs> because now I actually had like when I, back in August when I for my developmental edits when I handed in my manuscript. I was happy with it, but also like I just knew a lot needed to happen with it. I wasn't, like I knew I was kind of stuck with it and I didn't really know, that's why I was handing it to an editor to tell me what I needed to do. And it ended up being something drastic, but it was the best thing to ever be told to me. Does that make sense? Like. If I would have published the book that I had sent to my editor, the version of the the version that I sent to my editor the first time, oh my god. It's looking back, I'm like, yes, it was trash. But now this version, this what I've come up with is I think it's great. I hope everyone agrees or if they don't, whatever. But I personally really like what I have come up with. Um, under the guidance of my editor's suggestions and just on my own. But anyways, I am rambling. As long story short, I've turned in my manuscript. And honestly, like I didn't know I was if I was going to actually make it because I got the suggestion mid-September and my due date was March 1st. So I basically had six months to write a book, like a brand new book pretty much. And um, it's, I was working on the previous version for five years. Um, so writing it in like six months, like with pretty much like 85% new material was a big, big deal for me. Like I honestly didn't think I was going to be handing in something I was proud of, but I surprised myself by working very, very, very hard. Um, there were times though, like, I almost quit <laughs> a couple times. I, there was one day in particular, it was horrible. I um, was sitting at my computer trying to write this scene and I or something and it just wasn't coming to me. I was like stuck in general, just in the story and whatever. And I like literally felt it in my, I was shaking and I almost just said I quit. And like I got up and walked away for a second. And then I was like, nope. And I walked out again, like it was like, I was pacing back and forth. And then finally, I think I took a break that night for like half an hour. And then I went back and I sat down in my chair. And I think I only wrote like a paragraph or two. But that, writing that paragraph or two is like basically saved this me from quitting. Because I was like so close and so full of like doubt and frustration that I almost quit, but I didn't. I'm really glad that I didn't. I would have been very mad at myself if I did, which is one of the reasons why I wouldn't let myself quit. Like, does that make sense? Like, I think that was why I was so worked up, is because I really just didn't want to quit, but I was very 
very tired and frustrated and yeah the up and down journey the past since September um, with it when it comes to writing my book every time doubt would kind of creep in which was like pretty much every day I would just be nope I can do this I can do this and just like repeated that mantra over and over and over in my head and that actually really helped so if anyone of you are experiencing doubt just repeat that in your head I can do this I can do this I can do this because you can do it you can even though you think you you can't you can um, that just really really helps like it made the difference between December I wasn't even halfway <laughs> I finished the first draft of the book in like end of January and basically spent all of February revising and I like and then I was stressing out because I didn't know if I'd have time enough for like beta readers but thankfully I found amazing beta readers that read it uh, fast offer me great feedback and it was just everything ended up working out in the end um yeah uh, so I'm still rambling I'm going to quickly kind of state my what's next and then conclude this video because it's just me rambling so what's next is I am currently taking at least a week break not really gonna do too much writing wise I'm just gonna refill my well and then probably start outlining the next book so I can maybe start start a draft start drafting it over the next couple months so that's like kind of like writing plans I'm also hoping to work on or create a, a author website so hopefully that will be a thing and with that I also want to start an author newsletter so I will let you know when and if it happens I'm going to start kind of making a marketing plan over the next month. I want to kind of take it easy this month just because I've been working so hard the last six months. I just kind of need a break. Um, and so I'm just kind of taking things in easily. They're not too easy because otherwise I would get bored because I just always need to be busy. It's just how I am. But um, through all this, this is my this is my book essentially in paper. But yeah, I am going to conclude this video now. Hi Guinness. And hopefully it's not very long. Hopefully it's not very rambly. I just wanted to update everyone on my book's progress. Hi. Hi. What? If you like this video, please give it a like. You can subscribe to my channel. I post videos on Mondays. Um, it features me and usually this guy. Yeah. If you want to connect with me, I am on social media on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And until next time, thanks for watching.